I don't even know where to start with this one. Um, Because, like, when you do videos, you have a plan of what you want to talk about, what time you want to drop it. And this just blew up this morning. So it's like, oh, you got to talk about James Harden. So if you haven't been living under a rug, James Harden said this this morning. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Let me say that again. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. So he's out in China, and he went out to China to say. Dale Morey is a liar, and I would never be part of a organization that he is part of. And he repeated it so everybody can hear him clearly. The first thing that come to your mind, let me know in the comments, what is the first thing that come to your mind? The first thing that came to my mind was like, here we go again. James Harden is unsatisfied after playing with another superstar. Came up short in the playoffs, what he usually always do is choke. And now I'm complaining and pointing fingers at everybody else, right? So that's the initial reaction, my reaction. Then I took the emotions out of it, thought about it. It's like, okay, if he's calling the owner a liar, he's calling him a liar for a reason. Why is he calling the owner a liar? And... First thing first, you see the Sixers never made an offer to James Harden this summer. So that mean he he, he picked up his player option, try to keep it in regular terms where it's like, okay, he didn't believe 76ers is going to be able to pay him as much money as he feel he's worth. So let me shop around and whatever it is. They said the Clippers probably take him. Clippers don't get enough money because they offer, they want too much for him. Which makes sense. So it's like, all right, you stuck here. But they didn't give him an offer. So it's like, what are we doing here? More than likely, all of these owners, majority of them, damn near everyone I see, tell these players one thing and do the complete opposite. And it looks like the lot, the owner told James Harden one thing and did the opposite, and he called him a liar. I, I am pro player because the owners – they screw these players over all the time. Every single year we see it. Every single day we see it. So the hell with them owners. So I'm actually on James Harden's side. The problem is, after a while, we get what we call the boy cried wolf syndrome. When you have done so many, your, your resume is so bad. Even when you're finally right, Majority of the world won't give you the benefit of the doubt because you've been doing so much crazy stuff for so long. So if we look at what um Adrian Wojnarowski, wow, however hell you say Adrian name, he tweeted, disgruntled Harden calls 76ers Maury a liar. And Kyrie Irving replied, is he disgruntled Adrian or is he holding Daryl Maury accountable for his dishonesty and lack of transparency throughout the contract negotiations process this summer. Hashtag A11. <laughs> so, he obviously, is Kyrie knows what's going on. You know, that's his boy. You know, they play with each other. So, he like, is he holding them accountable from what he said? Next reports is the owner said, he ain't done that. Show up to camp. <laughs> Show up to camp. So, for those that's not familiar with James Harden, this is the situation, y'all. This is the situation. James Harden, in my opinion, will probably go down as the biggest underachieving superstar, such as, I would have to find a way to word it, that I've seen of my time, because... James Harden, we know he's a baller. We know what he can do. And OKC, he played with Kevin Durant, who happened to become an MVP. What's the rest book, who happened to become an MVP, didn't win a ring. Okay, you leave. You want your own team because, remember, it's six man. Go to Houston. You get the keys to the city. You dropping 40 points a game. You're going crazy over there. 
They bring you Dwight Howard. They bring you Chris Paul. So we got four Hall of Famers I just named right here. You didn't win a championship. Then you go from Houston and you go to Brooklyn. And then you play with Kevin Durant again, an older, mature Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving. You don't win no championship. (laughs) And now you are on the Philadelphia 76ers, who you just recently played and playing with the current player that just won MVP. And you choked in the playoffs. None of us feel bad for you. We don't. We're tired of you. When things go wrong, let me leave. When things get tough, let me leave. Michael Jordan and his ownership ain't get along all the time. Kobe and his ownership didn't get along all the time. They request their trades. But in relationships, you're going to have ups and downs. You're going to have some lives. You're going to have some fights. You stick to it and you figure it out. Because they're paying you all that damn money. So you got to figure it out. Especially if the owner say, I ain't trading you. So now we got to deal with this for the whole summer. I'm going to be doing videos talking about or all the way into the basketball season. James Harden, he's not playing for training camp. He's not doing this. James Harden, he's motivated to actually play finally. And remember when James Harden came to camp when he didn't want to play for Houston? He came to training camp where it looked like he had on that fat bodysuit. We like, oh, brother is out of shape. He's not prepared. He really don't want to be there. (laughs) And he was able to force himself up out of there. I hope that Philadelphia 76ers make him stay. Because remember, he forced himself up out of um, Brooklyn. So you force yourself up out of Houston. You go to Brooklyn. You get you force yourself up out of there, or I don't even I don't know how it happened. Brooklyn organization is just terrible. I don't even blame him for that. He he wanted to get the hell up out of there, and he's seen all the Kyrie stuff, KD getting injured. I ain't mad at him from getting out of there. But you go over to Philadelphia, and now their resume is looking bad because you got to think. Even though I'm I'm bashing, I'm I'm getting on James Harden a little bit. The Philadelphia 76ers ownership got to have some accountability because didn't y'all have Jimmy Butler over there? He's gone. <laughs> didn't y'all have who, who, what other players did they had? I think they had like three good players that you forced out. Then you had um Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, he, he did his own thing to get up out of there. You know, Ben Simmons ain't been right. So they history is... They just, the ownership is bad. It's not good. They don't know how to pick the right coach. They don't know how to run an organization or run a team. So, after a while, they have to look in the mirror and it's going to come down to the owner. Who James Harden just decided to call out. So, I am 70% with James Harden. I'm happy he called him out. I'm happy he did what he did. I'm with you. 30%. I just really don't give a damn because you cry wolf so many times. We don't want to see you go try to play somewhere else. We need you to just show up in the damn playoffs. You did nothing. And you did one one good game. Like, Embiid went out. One good game. After that, you just, let me get a bunch of assists. What's your thoughts in the comments? Make sure you guys hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. This helped push this video out to the masses. Put the big, push the video out to a bunch of people. Hit the subscribe button. Talk to y'all soon.